Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech, and this is how to install Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system, onto Windows 8 or Windows 7. Um, so you can dual boot it, and this is the easy way. Alright, so basically I'm going to leave a link below this video so you can get a, you know where to go to. Uh, it's Ubuntu.com forward slash download. And then you want to click on right here, it says with Wubi, W U B I. You click on that. All right, and then if you want to donate with PayPal, you can. Um, this is pretty much free, though. Uh, but you know, for operating system, you can donate, and uh, they work hard and they'll to make it better. So anyway, um, I donated eight bucks, by the way, and I already downloaded it. So uh, once it's downloaded, you can download to your desktop. It downloads. It's going to look like this folder right here. Okay, and I'll say will be. Then you double click on that, click on yes. Okay, and my C drive is my hard drive. All right, and it says I have 123 gigabytes free. And it's recommending 18 gigs. You could do I don't know, anything, I think anything between 10 to 20 is okay. But I'm going to do the recommended 18. And then you could do Ubuntu. Uh, there's a bunch of other different versions, but I heard nothing but good stuff from Ubuntu. And then English, user name, and then password. I'll do something simple, so I'm not going to forget it. And then click on install. Once you have all this situated right here, then you want to hit install. And then the firewall, it's going to say to allow or deny, let's allow. And then it's going to continue the installation. And now it's done. And you can reboot now, click on reboot now and finish shutting down and this is why I'm using a video camera is because if I would have used screencast my program would have shut down so you see my reflection you see my light in there <laughs> that's, that's a tripod I got my tripod See, it's my light right there. Here's Ubuntu. Preparing to run Ubuntu for the first time. Exciting. There's a different, couple different ways. You, you can actually burn Ubuntu on a disk if you want to, which is pretty easy to do. You just right click the setup file. And when you right click the setup file, if you're in Windows uh, 7 or Windows 8, it'll say burn. Burn to iOS on disk. Make sure you have a blank disk in your DVD drive. Make sure you have a DVD burner drive. Put my password in. Hit enter. And you can see I got my mouse. My mouse is working fine. And a slight delay. And there it is. There's my dashboard on the left. It comes with Firefox, which I already use for Windows 7. And uh, looks pretty easy to use. And you got my folders, my dash home, web browser. It comes with Office. It's kind of like Windows Office, but it's not exactly Windows Office. But I heard it's pretty compatible. Uh, calculator some other stuff. Uh, there's my software center which is like I guess the app store and Ubuntu One. Gotta check that out. System settings. And it says I need a driver but it still loads. And let's go ahead and turn up the volume. 
So the volume, the video plays, works pretty good. Now we're in Ubuntu software. And there's all the different software apps. I use actually VLC Media Player, where it works pretty good instead of a Windows Media Player. It plays every format, a video format. All right, so now let's get out of this and reboot. Let's shut down and let's do a restart. And it's going to boot up. And it's going to ask me, uh, what do you want to boot up? It should be minus that 18 gigs I used to install Ubuntu. Yep, and it took away some of my hard drive space. Now, once you do that, you can X out of this. Now, if you go to the start, the control panel, and go to uninstall program. Go look for Ubuntu if you want to uninstall it or you want to keep it. If you like Ubuntu, keep it. She, you know, if you like Ubuntu, keep it by all means. If you want, if you change your mind and you don't like Ubuntu or you want that hard drive space for your Windows 7, Windows 8 computer, click on Ubuntu and then click on uninstall. But I want to keep it, so. Um, download Steam. Actually, Steam actually has some free games. But if you want to download Steam, you can get games like The Cave and Trine Tune and Left 4 Dead 2 and stuff like that. Um, you, you can play those games as well. So, go click on... Let's start with this one. Red Eclipse. And this is, again, it's free. So, let's go ahead and play offline for now deathmatch look around and you left click that's your primary fire oh, I got one it's like blood too 